A small end study with big ambition. Can clinical hypnosis reduce symptoms of generalised anxiety disorder? I have found that drugs and therapy offer disappointingly little additional help for the mentally ill than they did 25 years ago, despite billions of dollars in funding. Martin Seligman, 2013. This statement from a former president of the American Psychological Association shocked me, yet also inspired me to conduct this study. The golden age of the gold standard treatment, CBT, hadn't brought the desired results and in some cases only generated minute improvements in patients' mental health. The economic and emotional costs of poor mental health across the globe were eye-watering even before the pandemic struck. The need for accessible, cost-effective solutions has now become critical. As a clinical hypnotherapist with a ton of anecdotal evidence of how effective and efficacious clinical hypnosis can be in treating mental health disorders, I was very aware of the lack of evidence in support of hypnosis. So I decided to conduct my own experimental design study as a small contribution to a much needed evidence base. I'm going to very quickly present the results of my study here, but there is a longer video also available if you'd like to know more. There were three participants in my small N study, each one presented with mild to severe symptoms of generalised anxiety disorder, GAD, and ranged in age from 19 to 48 years. Each participant received 6.5 hours of clinical hypnotherapy over a period of 7 to 10 weeks. The GAD7 questionnaire was repeated before, during and after treatment and, as you see here, revealed a reduction in symptoms of between 57 and 85 per cent. All participants were sub-threshold for GAD by the end of the study. I hope this short introduction has piqued your interest and look forward to seeing you in my longer video presentation.